now I have a new game. <laughs> Which means I really have to start over, over. Yay. Now I know what happens. However, I speculated a lot. Because one of the most beauty beautiful things about this game that I think... It has a storyline. But it won't tell you what exactly it is. You just gotta figure it out. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna figure it out. I thought I came up with a very good or storyline uh, before. But I'm not, you know, speculatable. I don't know all the details anymore. I just know I loved this game. So there you go. That is me. Breathe, little man, little dude. Now, it is recommended to play with a controller. I don't have one. And although it will take me a little to get used to again, it is basically playing as if you're a helicopter. Meaning, if you, pr you know, the WASD keys, it's always, um, you know, forward, backwards, and the sides. Now, forward now is, you know, going down, and backwards is going up. And your mouse is to um, keep swimming, basically. And camera controlment, obviously. I'm a fish, too! Hey! Can I be your family? Please? But please, though. Hello. Hello. I love that the scent, like, goes up as well because of your flippers. It's such a cool detail. Alright, let's wake you. Hello, little guy. Yeah, you're content with me? Good. Then we can go on and swim more. See if the collectible popped up now. That's a no. <laughs> well, you messed up the timing a little bit, but that's alright. <laughs> Rudolph! There we go. I love everything about this game. The way it moves with you, the way it moves against you, the... Oh, it's so beautiful. Let's hang on to you. Thank you. There we go. Oh, he he's broken. I just put my arm up there and he's good. They're making little noises. Yes! Turtle 
Jesus! Let's pick up number three. Also broken down. Let's fix it, shall we? Okay, now the, the robots you need for this. The, the great wall. I mean, what? The coral. I said coral. It didn't, it didn't say wall. What? What didn't I say? <laughs> You're crazy. Look at that. Hello, lobster. Can I have you for dinner tonight? Nah, that's not. I think that's a great idea. And there was a crab on the ground. I didn't know if you guys saw that, but... There was. Shark! And eels. And light. Perfectly placed light. Now this place got to me. It's so... dead compared to the others it's such a a contrast like there's light there's enough light but for some reason there's not yellow sunlight there's white sunlight and all the plants look dead and untouched and there's nothing that lives here there's no fish to be seen also no shark which means i don't know the shark shark jumped out or something um or he went in there which I absolutely love, because look at how human this looks. You know, at least it's not the shark that built this, so, you know. And then here's a gate. Very, very big gate. Now this is amazing. Hello. Look at that monstrosity of a house. Now you have that weird light that we saw at the beginning. And we have those little temples. And one is lit up with a coral tree, basically. So we'll go there. Now be a sign that we need to go there, you know. You know. My ears light up and my shoulders light up. Hello, Blup. I'll give you my heart. There you go. My heart is given with... Love everything about this. Mm. 
The water is filled with water and life. We got no idea what the July stuff watery looks like though, because, you know. Oh, the gates are open. Don't forget that we're already in the water. <laughs> so the water inside, like underneath there is something else. Hello, fish. I wanna swim with you. With you in particular. Come back. There we go. The manta ray. God, it's beautiful and so big. Can you imagine swimming with these guys in real life? God. You want to swim against a wall, buddy? Yeah, that's what I thought. Like, absolutely everything about this is beautiful. Look at that. <laughs> they talk to me! The music. Oh, the music! Music makes you lose control. Now this I find very intriguing. And everything about this. Because it makes you wonder, right? Who was here before? Could they breathe in the water or just, just fallen in the sea? What were they doing? Why is it that they have sacrifices on a plateau that they're carrying? And there's like a corral tree, like, like that one there. 